a very bright sunny day the leaves are drooping down okay when you water the plant what happens after some time right the leaves they no longer droop down the leaves they become somewhat turgid full of water you might have heard about a term stomata there are certain structures certain tiny pores in the leaves they open they close they do okay <coughs> even the plants is fine okay you can if you accumulate some poisonous gas around the plant it would die there are certain pollutants which would kill the plant right so basically even the plants is fine now if you want to study in detail what are living things let us go ahead the living things features properties characteristics in this chapter the living world you would be studying about the features the fundamental feature of all living things the fundamental feature the, uh, the fundamental property of all living things and the fundamental characteristics of all living things now see there should be some similarity between plant fungi bacteria human tiger cat dog right there should be some fundamental similarity they are definitely very dissimilar to each other for however long you stand under the sun in sunlight you would never produce your own food right now but there are some dissimilarities but there should be some similarities now that similarity would make it different from the non living thing now when we say when we talk about the feature of something feature is related to constitution what anything is made up of okay feature the cells all living things are made up of cells without any exception all have cells there is a bacterial cell there is a amoeba cell there is a paramecium cell there is a plant cell there is animal cell there is a fungal cell okay so all living things are made up of cells or you can say those things which are made up of cells are considered as the living things as long as there are cells right the things are considered as living things properties the level of interaction the behavior consciousness consciousness being aware of there's some chemical there's some smell there's a change in the luminosity and there's and there's no light and there is light light and gradually the light is increasing 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 and then it becomes very shiny okay, okay. you're conscious when you put some glucose inside some amount of glucose inside a cell the cell becomes conscious of this glucose now the cell what the cell would try to do it would try to burn this glucose or if it would need it would try to convert it into some other form by right? as long as the cell is in interactive phase or the cell is life it would be conscious it would respond to that amount of glucose or certain glucose molecules okay some amount it would try to burn and like in the junior classes what you have read when glucose is burned and glucose is oxidized inside the cells atp is produced adenosine triphosphate is produced it's a biological form of energy okay okay fine the cell might choose not to burn it but produce cellulose cellulose is a polymer it's a complex material produced from glucose molecules okay so the, if it's a plant cell the plant cell might choose 
to produce cellulose from glucose. We animals, we store glucose in the form of glycogen. The cells might choose to produce glycogen from this glucose. Okay? They are conscious. Now, your name, you are aware of your name. Is it consciousness? No, it's not consciousness. It's self-consciousness. Your consciousness, conscious, you are conscious about your self, what you are, hmm? what you are called. As a simple biological entity, as a simple biological entity, your name, your address, your parents' name, your occupation, your parents' occupation, your likes, dislikes, anything of such kinds. They are considered as self-consciousness. Self-consciousness increases with your age, your awareness about yourself. A young baby you might name the young baby. You might give a name, any name, okay, which you might like. But when the baby grows up, it has a certain name. Now the baby and has become a person would like to be called by that particular name only. Okay, self-consciousness grows with age, but the biological consciousness, it remains as such. It depends upon certain factors, the kind of DNA, genetic material that we have. What actually are we made up of? Okay, cells of different organisms have different internal constitution, but still all living things are made up of cells. Okay, the cells might behave differently. The heart cell behaves differently as far as the skin cell is concerned. The pancreas, the cells of the pancreas, they, 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 they function differently from the liver cells. Okay, The cells of the roots of the plants would behave differently compared to the cells of the stem or the leaves. Okay, So, but they are, the living things are made up of cells and they are conscious. Right? So what do you understand by Characteristics. Now see, <coughs> characteristics are features or properties. Features, what something is made up of. What is a pencil made up of? It's made up of wood. And then there is that lead, the graphite inside it, okay, which is used to mark the paper. That's true. The pencil is made up of wood and lead graphite. It is characteristic of the pencil, okay. Now characteristics are certain features and properties which someone uses to describe something. Someone uses to describe something, anything at all. Might be cockroach, might be earth form, anything, anything you want to describe. Conveniently. Conveniently. Now see, if someone comes to me and asks me, sir, what is earth form? Okay. Person comes to me and asks me what is an earth form okay fine now if the child belongs to class let us suppose sixth standard and above I might use I, some scientific terminology depending upon what the child might have read but if a first standard child comes to me and asks me sir what is earth form what do you think I am supposed to talk or tell the person the child. Oh, I would tell him it's brown in color because I know the child knows about brown color. Now I would tell the child it's cylindrical. Now the child might not have heard the word cylinder but I can say it's your pencil like. Now the child might ask me is it so rigid like my pencil? No, it's not that rigid. It's soft. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to use certain words to describe earth form and the words chosen by me can, can be used for other things also but when summed up in totality, the outcome would be earth form for that particular child. Okay? It's brown in color, it's cylindrical, it's soft. <coughs> it's, it lives inside the soil. It burrows. Now there are many organisms which are brown. Okay, 
are many organisms which are cylindrical. There are many organisms which burrow. There are many organisms which live in soil. Okay. Now, for the for my convenience, so that I can communicate with that child, I can tell him that this is earth form. I would use certain features and properties which are nest characteristics. Now, someone asked me, sir, what is what is a living thing? What is a living thing? Okay. In very simple terms, growth. When living things grow, you are, you are a small baby or you are a grown up person. Growth, reproduction. When living things reproduce, they produce young ones by any means. Might be sexual reproduction, might be asexual reproduction, these kind of reproduction. You just have a fair enough idea, a small a bit of idea. <coughs> you might have read about these things in your junior classes, like 8th class or 9th class. Reproduction. Right? The living things, they grow. Living things, they reproduce. And they have metabolism. Now using these words, it is very easy for me to tell someone what is a living thing. Living thing is one which grows, which reproduces and has metabolism. But now the child may, uh, might ask me, sir, what is metabolism? <coughs> the chemical reactions occurring inside the cells. Now all living things are made up of cells. So basically the, the reactions occurring inside the cells would be in the living things only. And those living things are known. Those, the reactions inside the cells are known as metabolism. Okay? Thank you.